What is good everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we have Rate That Outfit YouTuber Edition Part 2. So a lot of the people in this video might be similar to the first time I did it, but it's been like six to eight months since I actually did that video. And so I wanted to come on and do a second part. Now the reason I'm gonna be pretty similar people or some of the people you might see again is because they have evolved and changed their style a little bit. New outfits have come about and so it's prevalent to talk about them. I wanna talk about the bigger YouTubers I would say but I also have some of the big YouTubers that aren't even into fashion or anything like that that don't fall necessarily for the hype sometimes. So we're gonna talk about those, talk about some different YouTubers. I'm excited to get into this. How this works is we check out an outfit, then we rate it from one to five fire emojis. I'm bringing that back. One to five fire emojis and you guys get to see what I think about the different outfits. Obviously, people have their own sense of style. You can dress however you want. I'm not saying I can dress. I'm not saying I can't dress. I'm not saying anything about that. I'm just giving my opinions because I built somewhat of a following off of my streetwear nists that I have on YouTube and some people like to hear what I say about it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and talk about it. The first time I did it, I didn't know anybody would like to hear that, but the amazing response from it, everybody likes to see it. So we're here, we're gonna do Rate That Outfit, Top YouTuber Edition Part Two. First YouTuber up, we're gonna go with Jesse Wellens. Now, I was actually able to meet Jesse when I was in LA at the Clout House and I got to talk to him at the Loose Change Project because he filmed it. If you don't know, he has talked a lot about streetwear in his videos in the past like year. He's kind of evolved into lookbooks and whatnot. And so it's cool to chop it up with him, talk about streetwear, how what I do about streetwear and whatnot because he didn't know specifically about me or anything like that. But it was nice to tell him, you know, this is what I do. I see that you're into streetwear and whatnot and it's cool to kind of connect and that kind of thing. And so with Jesse, what I like is he doesn't necessarily have too much hype in his stuff. Mainly what you've probably seen the past couple of years is he has a lot of Yeezys in his videos. But other than that, he kind of does his own thing as far as that goes. But he incorporated hype into some of these outfits. So the first one we have here is an off-white kind of burgundy long sleeve, which is not too much flashiness. I think it's, it's okay. It's not like blurting it in your face. You've got the Daniel Patrick pants. Now I'm assuming they're Daniel Patrick, the exact same style that I've seen for Daniel Patrick. I think they're black and red and it kind of matches the shirt. Then we got the YouTube socks. Of course, he's an OG on YouTube. You got to go with that. I respect that. Then we got the Reebok Classics. Now, I think he might be sponsored by Reebok. I'm not sure because under his picture it says hashtag Reebok Classic. Regardless of that, it is a nice silhouette of a shoe. I think Reebok is a classic. You know, the Yeezy Calabasas that came out are very similar to the Reebok Workout Classic Plus Low. I think that's the full name of it. And then you have other silhouettes like the Supreme and Louis Vuitton look very similar to the Reebok Classics and they're going for hundreds of dollars. So I would say that it is a nice shoe. And I'd have to give this outfit right here a four and a half out of I, I want to say a five out of five just because it incorporates a little bit of hype. You don't have a hype beast shoe on or anything like that, but you also have just a nice, like a nice quality pant and different things like that. So I'd have to give this one maybe a five out of five. And I know a lot of people say like, you don't get five out of fives a lot, but I, I feel like I need to in this situation. Then we got this outfit right here from Burning Man. Now this one is a little bit different because it is not meant to be like a crazy flashy outfit or anything like that. It's for the Burning Man festival when you're in the desert. And so that kind of aspect of an outfit, you wanna be crazy, you wanna be out there because of the nature of the Burning Man Festival. If you haven't seen his film, it was incredible. You go ahead and look at that. But for this outfit, we got the huge fuzzy coat on, of course. The pants are kinda of like a parachute pant, something I probably wouldn't necessarily wear, but I like, I mean, for that outfit. Why not throw something on like that? I'm not opposed to that. And then you have the Yeezy 750 Original Grays. Now these are going for $2,000 up there. I've seen them at $2,500 at one point, which is insane. And I think that for this outfit, those are just the wow factor. Like he went to the desert and tore up Yeezy 750s that cost that much. It's kind of just like, I don't care. I'm wearing something flashy, I'm doing it for the festival. So I think it's awesome he did something like that. So the pants, not necessarily what I saw in the film. I probably wouldn't wear something like that, but I have to give the outfit probably a four out of five just because of that. But the jacket I like, the shoes I like, and the vibe of the outfit, you know, you got it. You're at the Burning Man Festival. You're going for a certain vibe. You're not going for the flashy streetwear, hype beast, or anything like that. So there are a decent amount of phase members in here, but I'm not going to do like four photos for each of them. I'm just going to briefly talk about them and show some of the outfits because they all have some similar stuff when it comes to that. Now, the other people, I've got a few in there. Now, I guess I'll talk about Jake Paul in the next one. So I just, I don't want to put him in the title or anything because a lot of people, they go using it for a title. I don't necessarily agree with a lot of the stuff that he's done on YouTube and obviously I've hung out with people at the Claw House and I, I I, see the way that things go and the people at the Claw House are real people. They act exactly how they act in their videos. Banks literally acts identical to how he acts in the videos and I respect that so much and the things that Jake Paul has done. I just don't want to get in the drama that faking the stuff against Banks, I don't understand it, but we'll pull up this alpha right here. So this one 
it's a pair of very skinny denim i if the denim was a little bit looser i would like them i mean i i don't mind down by like the calves but like the thighs i just feel like that's not something that i would personally wear that tight i mean maybe because that skinny jeans he has muscles so that's something that's going to happen it's going to be an issue that you run into but i i just don't like the way that this fit they're like a spray on denim now the shirt i think could maybe work in certain situations it's kind of like a jersey but it's cropped and so that denim with the, the shirt i just it just doesn't mesh well with me and everything that looks just kind of off and just uncomfortable to me and so i don't know the shoes are not bad they're like a high top i'm not sure exactly what brand those are i feel like i should know they kind of look like the fear of god military sneaker but or they also kind of look like the weekend puma shoes this outfit i'd have to give it a two and a half out of five just because of the vibe of it just i know he's wearing black shoes with a black shirt I, the debt i two and a half out of five then we'll briefly go over this outfit right here it is a cut off hoodie which i never really mess with it's just something that i just never have really worn maybe because i don't have muscles or anything like that i think like i have too skinny of arms to do it i don't know the denim is not bad if it's a little bit better i would say in the last pair we've seen this pair before the shoes though i do like to represent dust boots i think those are a fire shoe for that i'd have to give it a three out of five just for the shoes but the top i don't i don't really like and I know a lot of people might say, oh, you're giving him low ratings just because of who he is and associated with Cloud Gang. But that's just how I feel about the outfits. If he had different outfits on, maybe I'd be able to mess with it more. But this one specifically and the other one, not really. Then we'll talk about Phase Adapt. And so I think Adapt has kind of changed a little bit as far as his style goes. He's been going a little bit more. I don't know. He has a lot of hype in his stuff. But like this outfit right here, it's not necessarily a lot of hype. The hypest thing I would probably say would be the shoes maybe, the My Adidas. I think they're the Adidas Ultra Boost 1.0 My Adidas, like a rainbow on the back. Then we have the denim. Now there's some denim that I didn't necessarily like from Adapt before. Now he can have his own denim that he likes. Obviously people wear what they want to wear. But this specific denim I do like. Light distressing, he's got the paint splatter. I'm a fan of that. Has a nice fit, a nice taper, a nice little stack on there. So I do like those. They look like they might be zipper denim, zip down just because of the way that the stack is. But other than that, I like the denim. So it is a cutoff flannel. I wouldn't probably wear a cutoff flannel to be honest, but the hoodie overall, without the flannel i'd probably give it a four and a half out of five or not four and a half four out of five i just it looks like it's cut off like on the other arm it doesn't but if it was a regular flannel i'd give it a four to five i don't know it's kind of tough because i like the way that the outfit flows but just since it's a cut off flannel i don't know if i should give it a three and a half out of five maybe a 3.75 i'm getting too specific with it but you know there's also tico in there we'll talk about him in a little bit the next picture up we'll have this one right here back to the hype fits more because you have the gucci shirt the gucci shoes the denim this is kind of the denim that i was talking about where i don't necessarily like it too much because it's got like the zippers and stuff i don't know it's just not my take on it it has a decent fit and so i give this one a three and a half out of five i would just say because he's got the gucci it's a little bit more hype the denim not so much the outfit looks good on him and i think that if you like that style that's fine but just overall i probably couldn't give it a four out of five to be honest then we're going to talk about somebody who doesn't do anything with clothing but he's a big prevalent youtuber right now and i would say that's david dobrik and he typically when i see him in any of his videos wearing like a black t-shirt and black pants but i found one outfit where he's got a little bit of flair on so i would say so this one right here so he's got a denim jacket nice little touch to that you know black t-shirt then look at the shoes we peep down at the shoes it looks like a pair of vapor max and i think those are so just because david went ahead and added something different he's not just wearing a black t-shirt he's kind of going a little bit more flair i don't know what shoes he typically wears but let's give him a four out of five for that one because for him he doesn't care about fashion but you know he matched a little bit he had a little bit of the vapor max a nice comfortable nike shoe that's popular right now why not then we'll talk about my man banks and so of course you guys know how i kind of like his fashion it's kind of like jesse's where he incorporates a little bit of hype mainly in the shoes i would say incorporates mostly the hype and sometimes the shirts and whatnot but he keeps it simple and so this one we've got a pair of denim now they're cuffed and i don't necessarily like to you know do cuff denim too much i don't know it's just not really the style that i like to wear maybe sometimes i'll do it with certain shoes and whatnot the shirt and that streetwear shirt i'm assuming it's just like a uh, just any streetwear brand anything like that then we have the nike off-white blazers i like those then in his hand is paris his french bulldog and i've wanted a french bulldog for so long and that dog is too cute so i gotta give it a five out of five just just five out of five i feel like i've said like out of ten sometimes dude i'm not sure five out of five for the dog i'm sorry guys 
can't even look at the outfit. The dog is just too cute. Then we got another fit right here from Banks. And now, so it is more of like a nice aesthetic of black and white. The Supreme hat, a little bit of hype. We got the baseball jersey, which I necessarily probably wouldn't wear. Just, I don't know. I just never have really been wearing too much anything like that. The loose chain shirt, the black distressed denim. They have a nice taper. And then the CDG Air Force Ones. Now, a lot of people in my last video got mad at how I said CDG. Comme des Garcons is how I think it might be actually said but in that video i said it like a troll i said it the way that Lil uzi bird says this video come de garçon and just for fun just i like to say it like that come de garçon whatever however it's pronounced i'm sorry if you cringe at that because a lot of people said that but decent album right here i'll go ahead and give it a four out of five and i love how banks whenever like when i was there he did his breakdown he's like talking about how i did it i thought it was funny and pootie did the same thing i think it's funny to just kind of see people's breakdown of how i how i talk let's use like harrison language <laughs> very simple outfit i don't know it, it goes like, you know it flows next up we'll talk about face tico and i think tico as well does a little bit of the hype more in the shoes not too much in the shirts i don't really see him too many in like off-white shirts or things like that or gucci shirts maybe he does i i only have two pictures here of him because some of the other ones that i did were similar but we have like a paint splatter denim here, which looked like minimal. Then we have a white t-shirt, which I don't know if it's any specific brand. It looks like it could say Saint Laurent on there. I'm not sure. I like the bomber jacket though. It's got a nice little flare, like the flashiness to it. A little flasher than I would wear, but I like the way that it looks. And then the human race. Now, if the, the shoes are a little bit different, maybe like a, I know I'm as, like a Gucci shoe or the silhouette of a Gucci shoe. Maybe for me, I would say the Yeezy Calabasas but that's not really a lot of hype. I would give it a four, maybe four and a half out of five. But for this overall fit, I would probably give it a four out of five. And you see like right here, he's got the Balenciaga speedrunners on, the white denim, a little bit of flashiness to it, nothing too crazy. And that jacket again, I think it's a nice fit. And obviously I'd give it, you know, like a, I'd say overall those two fits together, let's give it a four out of five. Then we'll briefly talk about Faze Rug right here. And so Rug typically wears like Gucci, like you can see he's got the Gucci t-shirt on, the Gucci shoes, the Gucci backpack, the denim, I'm sure they're not Gucci, probably just a pair of black denim. You know, he always, you know, likes to flex a little bit. Even you can see in the caption, had to flex on the haters real quick. That's what Rug likes to do. He likes to, to flex that Gucci and it's not a bad thing. I mean, people can flex what they want. I think Gucci is killing it right now in the streetwear world, to be honest, just because I feel like they, they are coming out with great styles they are incorporating a lot of the streetwear, the high fashion streetwear, and just coming out with stuff that a lot of people like. And I really like that fact of that. And then we have one right here. He's wearing the Fendi shirt. We got the different shoes. They're not Gucci shoes. And I assume those are Fendi shoes. It'd be my guess. And then some black denim. The denim I don't really like necessarily too much, but we'll give this one a 3.75. It's a little bit, you know, high fashion flex on them. It's just a nice simple fit, I would say. Those are basically all the outfits I got. Now, I want you guys to either tweet me or Instagram me and show me like different outfits that you guys like from different top YouTubers. I just like to talk about the people that, you know, are kind of into the streetwear a little bit, not too much, but kind of like to like show off outfits a little bit more just because I think it's nice to, you know, have them a little bit more into it because they put some effort in their outfits. Because I would say like David Dobrik doesn't put effort in his outfits on purpose because he doesn't necessarily care about it. But I want to know your guys' opinions and get your guys like different outfits from different YouTubers that you guys like and, you know, maybe talk about more rating outfits. Other than that, if you're new here, leave a like down below and subscribe. I've done this before. I don't do it too much. I try to hold off and space the little series out, but this one I like doing. I think it's fun to go ahead and break down the outfits and it's just fun for me to see the different aspects of people's outfits. But I'll see you guys next time I post on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays. And if you guys are going to be at ComplexCon, I will be there. I'm going there with Faith Banks, Jacob Starr, different YouTubers like that. It's going to be a fun event. But other than that, I'll see you guys next time. And this is Harrison signing out. I don't know where I'm going, I just know where I'm headed, feel this